I'm gonna do it, right? You're not ready? No, I'm not ready. Are you recording this? Of course. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, yeah. Indeed. Cheers. Cheers. Let's pretend it's vodka. I don't drink. Me neither. It's working day, huh? <laughs> it's working day? Ah, uh, no. No. Joking. Okay. It's weekend. It's weekend. Hey. Yay. Hello. Yeah. Is this good, sir? Yeah, that's, yes. that's great. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let's go. Don't go there, Cooper. Oh, good. You're going to sit? You're If you ask him, he sits. Oh. Down. Do Even, Then, better, huh? even better. Even better. Even better. And now stay still for the next four hours. Mm, huh? mm. That's a start. That's a start. That's a start. Yeah. Uh, so, a new so, Shark Talk. Yeah. With uh, one one long overdue meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Because I asked you, I think before. Probably. I think so. A yeah. couple of times. Yeah. yeah. And now it was like... Uh, We're still in kind of a uh, uh, coronavirus lockdown stuff thing. <laughs> so no better time than now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's let's uh, uh, start with yourself introducing. I think that's the most easiest thing to do. So people know who do you listen to because they know my voice. I always start with that. Oh, you have one of those yeah. voices. <laughs> yeah. Well, hello, I'm Barbara Sanchez, as you announced me. Yes. Sometimes known as Miss B, <laughs> Porty's Diary, or any other kind of things. But uh, yeah, you can call me Bob's for today. What? Bob's. Bob's. <laughs> no, Barbara. Barbara, Barbara is fine. Just Barbara. That's just, okay. Just Barbara. Yeah. Just. Yes. Just Barbara. Yeah. Um, no, because um, uh, we we met a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. A couple of times more. Uh, a couple of times. And in, in the music industry, no. but. Um, Why we made the, uh, I wanted to record this podcast is because you're also a writer, yeah, a photographer, oh. and also you're doing something at work where I still don't know what it is, but maybe it's we'll top secret. Yeah, maybe we'll touch that later. <laughs> but it's more like, um, uh, I mean, uh, you post a lot of ins on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah so some sometimes, but it's, it's most of the times it's about traveling and yeah. and and doing things like that. And I was like. We should talk about that because most of the times if we talk on this podcast, most of the times it's about music yes. and less about the traveling part. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but you still need it. And if you want to go to nice cities, you know, mm -hmm. to know the highlights. And you're uh, and you can combine both. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I sometimes do that. Well, uh, I used to do that. Used, no, we still <laughs> Nobody do. Nobody does anything like that anymore. Oh, man. We're not going <laughs> to talk the whole episode about the virus and stuff like that. No. No corona. No, no corona. No, no, we just ignore it. It's not there. And it's, we just it's not here. <laughs> no, it's not People here. People wear your masks. <laughs> yeah, we still don't need to wear a mask. It's, it's another topic. But um, anyway. But anyway, about traveling before traveling 2020. Before. Oh. Um, yeah. Wait, wait. I'm going to change something. What is it then? Oh, okay. Oh, that's better. This better? Oh, that's way better. Ah, oh, you see? I hope it's way better. Otherwise, it's the microphone or my cable. <laughs> no. Oh, did uh, I just break the microphone? No, 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 no. no it's all no. good. No, but anyway, uh, who am I? You were asking, right? Uh, well, it was about the, the traveling part. Yeah. yeah. Um, because um, you have a, uh, how can I say it? You have a blog about traveling, but yeah. it's separated in parts, I saw. Yeah, the blog. So I write yeah. a blog since 2013 so it's going to be seven years in august oh damn damn, damn big that's, seven huh <laughs> that's a long time <laughs> it's a long time you know I, i'm i'm from old times as well but anyway so i write a blog and it's called porty's diary porty's as in a diary from a porty and porty being a nickname for a portuguese girl okay makes sense makes sense and the Throughout the years, the, the blog kind of grew into a travel blog. That wasn't the intent in the first place, but it just went that direction. What was the intent in the beginning? Yeah, in the beginning, I thought, like, I wanted to share, you know, back in 2013, blogs were a big thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just living here in the Netherlands for two years. And it, it's in that phase, at least for me, was like... You were kind of 
you're not so into, um, how do you say that? Things were not a surprise anymore. So Netherlands was becoming home. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I was missing home in Portugal. Yeah. So I thought, what if I just shared my experiences while I'm here in the Netherlands? But soon enough, I realized I didn't have that many to share. <laughs> <laughs> you could only write about the south of Holland and that's it? Yeah, but, yeah. but you know, I, as a normal person, you know, I go to work and my day is very... That's five days a week. That's five so days a week. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. a lot of time that I cannot share about what I'm doing at work either. Yeah. So um, I realized like, okay, yeah, maybe my friends are going to like this, but they can just write me a WhatsApp asking how my day was. <laughs> <laughs> And then I thought, what if I turn this into more like other things I enjoy doing it, right? And another thing I really enjoy and have pleasure doing it and writing about is uh, traveling. And, you know, because there's so many places that you can go and you see and it can be useful for other people. Not yeah. just, just my friends that probably will read what I write, but other people that might be looking for tips or, um, yeah, tips or, or uh, itineraries or what to see in such place or, you know, just kind of things. Mm -hmm. So throughout this almost seven years, the blog became a travel slash photography <laughs> amateur. <laughs> Starting photography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A amateur style uh, kind of blog, yeah. Yeah, but it's mostly about the, the, the traveling park, uh, part and seeing uh, seeing things. Yeah. Um, but when you want, want to uh, uh, when you want to start, mm -hmm. you said it's more uh, it started with the Netherlands. Yeah. And exploring the Netherlands is especially this summer maybe one of the things people yeah. should do. Yeah. And should they be in the Netherlands? <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to uh, uh, go on vacation, uh, maybe the, the Netherlands is a great place to stay instead of traveling outside of the Netherlands. Yeah. Um, but you explored it with different eyes because you're just was just new to the yeah. Netherlands. Yeah, while exactly. most of us are just living here anyway. And <laughs> yeah, when when you're young, your parents take you to Amsterdam or to uh -huh. Groningen or whatever, and you see it with uh, kids' eyes. But for you, it was grown up eyes. It yeah. was a different. It's a different perspective. Yeah, and I I have that same thing back in Portugal because I did a lot of road trips in Portugal, but as a kid. Yeah. And once you grow up, things just look differently. And even though Portugal and Netherlands are quite different countries and cultures, it's me being a, a person not from the Netherlands and, you know, just go around and see what's what. I think it's a really nice country. And it always amazes me when you say, oh, the Netherlands, people just say, oh, Amsterdam. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the cool. same for some people. Yeah. yeah. Amsterdam is nice, but there are mini Amsterdams almost all over the Netherlands, yeah. you know, and it's just as beautiful, if not more, in my opinion. And I think that's worth sharing with other people because you can easily spend a nice holiday here if you want, if you're willing to do so. Yeah, and you don't need to travel that long distances to go to no. a whole different towns. No, and it's it's quite packed country and it's it's small, it's relatively small. You can drive from Maastricht to Groningen in three and a half hours. Yeah. Well, okay, we can drive 100 now. So it takes yeah, five that, that, days that, that now. That takes five <laughs> days. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, normally yeah. we could do that in three, three and a half hours. Everything uh, was better before 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the driving distances. Yes. Uh, this is the same, but the time-wise, it's terrible. Um, yeah. No, but wh uh, when you started to write about the Netherlands, what was you? What were you? What were you thinking? No, <laughs> um, I have no idea. No, but uh, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, long time ago, seven years ago. Um, um, what was your intent to write about the Netherlands? Was it more like the exploring things, or more the factual things that? It was a bit of both, but I, when I write about traveling, it's more like. Um, as if I can bring the reader along with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not so much, oh, you should stay there or visit this and this and that and that's it, have fun. No, it's like, hey guys, look, I've been here and this is what I did. What if you just, you know, come and check it out? And, um, and I like to give tips, of course, and I think it's useful, but for me, when I first came here to the Netherlands, I also saw the big cities. 
you know, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and that was it. Yeah, you have to, so yeah. <laughs> you have to. But I I like to explore like small towns, for example. Those are great for just a one-day trip. Mm -hmm. Or less. If you go to Reuver, it's less than a day. <laughs> well, you can walk really <laughs> slow to make it a day. <laughs> no, but it's, it's yeah, those kind of things. And um but where you, uh, I mean, some years ago, searching on Google, like where they have to go in the Netherlands and you go to that place and write about it? Or is this more like... I normally start, so I check the country. So in this case, the Netherlands. Then I was like, oh, I've seen this and this and that. Then I check the capitals of the provinces to start with. Okay. You know, like the bigger cities yeah. and so on. Once that's done, <laughs> it's like a to-do list. Once that's done, then I look uh, like cute Little towns that have something particular. For example, uh, Thorn, I think yeah. is how you say it. Yeah. The white town. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's oh. that's a super small town. Yeah, that's true. It's just one road. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a really... Uh, 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 it has a lot of characteristic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very cute. Yeah. And it, it has this... Um, how do you say? Characteristic mm -hmm. of being yeah. white. Like most houses are all white. Mm -hmm. And that, that's something, let's say, unique. Yeah, but if people were coming to the south of the Netherlands or the to Limburg, uh, for that yeah. matter, they go to Maastricht. Maybe, and they should. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Roumont, mm -hmm. because of the shopping. Yeah. And maybe Venlo? I don't think you think so. Valkenburg. Valkenburg, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but Valkenburg yeah. is really nice. Um, and that's about it. But Torn yeah. is just in the middle of those two. And you can just go there within you 40 can, minutes. Yeah. yeah, you can do it like on the way to yeah, exactly. another place. And it's it's cute. It's a really cute town. Yeah. But is that also for you a way to, to discover uh, a country? That, what you yeah. said, the, 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 the capitals within the, the, the regions and mm -hmm. from there, what's next to it? Yeah, because that's the same approach I did when I was a child in Portugal. And because the country has different regions and as you visit one and the other and so on, you start noticing the small differences within the country. So I thought, oh, I'm going to do the same here in the Netherlands, right? And did you all uh, cross all, I think we have 12 provinces? Uh, I don't think I've seen them all. No, not yet? No, no, I don't think so. No, I, I don't think so. You passed them all? I may <laughs> have. <laughs> yeah, you have. Well, I've been to yeah. Groningen. So, so you so that's, passed most of them. That I passed most of them, yes. Yeah. But for example, I haven't been to Friesland yet. Oh. I don't know if that's how you say it. But yeah, Friesland. Yeah, yeah. The, the little islands and so on. Oh, no, that's, that's above it. Yeah, but that's... Oh, uh, okay. The water island. <gasps> Geography 101. Uh, no, that's that's no <laughs> problem. I was looking for, for a place to stay in, uh, in a couple of weeks there. But... Um, but uh, Friesland, I haven't been as far as I know. A at least not for the purpose of going to uh, check it out, you know? Okay, because that was another question. Are you going to do those things on purpose? Or is it more like, I need to be there around anyway so I can combine it? I've done both, but i rather go it like on purpose. Make a weekend out of it or... Makes it, makes it easier to find out what you want to do or it's more like you have to you have more time to... Uh, because we are now in the south of the Netherlands, pretty much everything is far. So you kind of have to plan if you want to go somewhere. It's not far, come on. <laughs> A little bit further. <laughs> so, um, but I normally plan it as a weekend uh, activity. Mm -hmm. And before the times we are living now, I'm not mentioning what it is, <laughs> but before... <laughs> Then if I would go, for example, for a show or, or something, then I would combine. Like, oh, I'm already going there, so let me see what's what. Okay. Then it would be like a two-in-one. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that helps to be yeah. there uh, for a good reason. Yeah. But those uh, are normally, just, that's quite tight schedule, so I don't have so much time to no, just go explore. No, because you have to travel that long from, from Limburg to whatever yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah. um, then you were exploring uh, uh, the Netherlands, but did you already uh, was writing about Portugal when you are back there? Or no. did it just start in the Netherlands? I only start the blog here in the Netherlands. So I was already living in the Netherlands for two years when I started the blog. And I at that time, I didn't write so much about Portugal as a country to visit 
but later on, yeah, as I start missing it more and more, and when I would go back and do other things besides visiting family and friends, and I wanted to go and check places, you know, to just keep the memory <laughs> <laughs> alive, then I thought, oh, maybe I can write a post about it. Like, should you be in this area? Maybe you could check this and this and that. So, yeah. So then, besides the Netherlands, you also wrote about Portugal? Yes. But is it then as a real explorer, like, I need to explore more? Yeah, or is really, like yeah. I, I became a tourist in my own home country, which it's just ridiculous. Yeah. And when I go now, I, I go as a tourist. Where did you grow up in, 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 in Portugal? I'm sorry? Where did you grow up in Portugal? In Lisbon area. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of country to still yes explore afterwards. definitely yeah. definitely but you, you you were just talking about uh, uh when you grew up you had little travels with your parents around mm. the country the same that we do in, in the netherlands yeah. seeing some bigger cities and sometimes smaller ones <laughs> uh was it for you that you want to go back to certain places because you remember yes yeah definitely was, okay yeah i have some flashbacks of some uh yeah places i've been when i was a child and now i want to go back and see if my <laughs> flashbacks are accurate <laughs> enough or not. <laughs> That's <laughs> and a if things have changed. place, yeah. <laughs> I've been here, but can't remember. No, because <laughs> sometimes you you have like, um, what you think it's a memory of a certain place, but it may not be, you know, it's, it's just the experience you had and yeah, if things get mixed up. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, th but that's how the brain works. I think yeah. it's also all, all, uh, for, especially for a child, it always puts on the the mask, like the most beautiful memory of that place. Yeah. Well, everything else that is maybe bad or bad looking, <laughs> you just ignore because well, everything is flowers. Yeah. Um. But when you write about those two places, mm. is it also like a diary for you at that moment, like for yourself? Yeah. It's sometimes it is, uh, it's so sometimes it's, yeah, I write it also with a purpose to not forget what I experienced in certain places, whether it was a good experience or it was a bad experience. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it was an experience. It was an experience. Yeah. Okay. But is that, um, um, why, why writing? Why writing? Yeah. First of all, I love reading. But that's not writing. No, but it for me, it's a good way to communicate. And it's not as uh, instant as nowadays is required almost. But I, I value, because I, I like reading, I value the fact that somebody took the time to write about a subject. So, and I think, first of all, I don't like to record videos. <laughs> <laughs> So the next uh, option for me to share content with um, content <laughs> in yeah. it, you know, it's writing. And yeah, and then more than just uh, nowadays is 280 characters on Twitter, I guess. Oh, so, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. One, so, so 140 was before. It, yeah, now it's 280. And yeah, I think a blog is a good platform to, As, to do so especially when you said it, it started seven years ago yeah and exactly it was the long the long read yeah you could do on, on on blogs now you could do that also on facebook of course but nobody reads long pages there anymore no indeed and, and there was no instagram back then no so oh that was that's all, that's all hard yeah well uh, hard welcome life. to my time <laughs> um <laughs> blogs w were really big and so i i think it's Good place. But did you have experience with writing then? Or it was just the reading experience you had and then... Uh, back at school, I would write, um, yeah, assignments and so on. And I was I was always willing to write long stories about whatever. <laughs> but it's still, it's still a different thing to do, to write. I mean, that means you have to uh, memorize something. Or do you write when you're there as well? No, normally um, my writing process starts once I come back home from the place I've I visited and I try to take photos of things that I want to write about so they are kind of my uh, memory points yeah, yeah. memory <laughs> points and um, I always travel with a, a, a travel book let's say if I go to some place that I've never been before for example 
And yeah, I normally use my photos as a, a reminder of what I did and what could be interesting for other people. Okay. And But, sometimes I make some notes on my phone so I just okay. don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's let, be honest. <laughs> But that, that's, that's no problem. No. I mean, it, yeah, when you want to write about something, it comes yeah. in handy if you still remember what you want to write about. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's, let's go back to uh, um, how you set up A, a blog, not not the blog itself, but mm -hmm. the articles in it. Yeah, <laughs> you you, say, you, uh, you find out where you want to go. Yeah, is that where it starts, or it's more like I need a blog tomorrow, so I need to go somewhere? No, 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 no. I once upon a time I was <laughs> a slave of a schedule for the blog. Nowadays I don't do that anymore. It's I write when I have Did time. Did you have a structure? Like yeah. planning the when it has to be uploaded? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I had the the schedule of one post a week. I tried. Okay. Or even no no, there It's was not a that time. Hard. No, it depends. <laughs> there was a time I try I posted twice a week, but I I found out that it's not about the quantity, but the quality. And for me to write I rather spend more time making a more complete post than to just drop uh, six or like five or six photos and say, "Oh, this was really cool. Yeah, you should check it out. That's it." Yeah, that doesn't you know, say anything. It's just like, say "Look anything. at my pictures." Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. But you have Instagram for that nowadays. <laughs> True. Yeah. So I I figured it out that I rather spend time uh, doing some research about place I am going or that I've been. And what should I see? What other people should see? You know, like, and if you go to such place, where can you stay? Or, where should, you know, nice spots for food and drinks? Because, yeah, who doesn't like to have a nice dinner or a nice drink somewhere? True. Yeah. Right? So I, I rather spend my time doing that and not having to follow a schedule than just brush things up that, that I don't like. But that means that you uh, uh, take time for the uh, uh, pre-trip? Uh, not so much. The pre-trip, it's mostly checking like which places I have not been and I would okay. like to go. That's more like a, like a planning. Yeah. And yeah, and then the, the whole planning, you know, uh, booking, well, back then flights. <laughs> Do you also write about that, or is it more only the place itself? No, no, I, okay. I also write about okay. that. Like, um, I I think I even wrote like how I plan my trips. You know, because I I like it to be done as fast as possible and not too fuzzy. Because yeah. there's going to be a link, by the way, on, on <laughs> in the description, of course. Yeah. So when yeah. people want to search for the, for the blogs you you write, yeah, they can find it yeah. below. But yeah. Because I mean, let's be realistic. I cannot travel every other week. Well, certainly not now, but before also not. So in in the in between uh, travelings, mm -hmm. I always pop some uh, tips, you know, travel tips, mm -hmm. or uh, for example, how to pack. How do you have to pack? That depends <laughs> on the duration of your trip. <laughs> And where are you going? <laughs> But um, when I go to London, I just go for a couple of days. I just have my swing bag with me, yeah. my and it just like two t-shirts, uh, <laughs> trousers, uh, and underwear, and and socks. And that's it. And and the the toilet things, uh, yeah. the the brush and stuff like that. Yeah, that's it. It all fits in one bag. And Perfect. Go. Nothing yeah. else. Yeah. Because I also don't like to carry a lot of stuff with me. It makes the trip a lot more complicated. And expensive. Yeah, because you have to check in your bags and that costs money. Yeah, and that costs money. And you may lose it. <sighs> and nobody wants that. No. So I try to travel always with a carry-on, if possible. So then I shared I shared some tips on, on that as well. Yeah. But okay, that, so that's the, the, the planning part. Yeah, that's and the pre-trip, let's say. Yeah. And, and then you go on a short weekend or a longer mm -hmm. week or a holiday. Yeah. And you capture your moments with pictures, and mm -hmm. sometimes you say you make some notes so you can remember. Yeah. So, you, but that means also you can fully invest your time in just being there. It's not yeah, like yeah, totally, yeah. Because yeah. I'm also, I want to enjoy. You know, as I'm, I'm not a, a reporter. <laughs> no, but but sometimes <laughs> you know? I mean, I was just listening to other other podcast and it was about uh, uh, influencers, oh. and they're just like they're going to an event. 
Yeah. And they just go to the event for the purpose of making that one picture. Yes. And leave. I mean, just like, I just let them see you've been there, but not that you have uh, uh, experienced it. Yeah. Well, if it works for them, that's great. <laughs> but that's not my kind of, uh, my way of doing things. You know, it's... You can be fully in the moment. Yeah, I, I want to be. I want to enjoy the places I'm going. And if I can share that with other people and they find it interesting, cool. That's extra. But that's that's the, 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 the duration of, of your stay. And you have your list you want to do because mm -hmm. you said you're just planning on, on, on the yeah. highlights. or Yeah, especially if it's a longer trip. If it's just like a weekend, you know, then I normally just go totally explore. I use Google Maps to see if there's anything that I should check and... If not, I just walk around and see what's what. Great. I yeah. mean, that, that means you, have, uh, you can let go and just... Yeah. 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 But um, you want to do a weekend, for example. Mm -hmm. That means you have to travel somewhere. So that takes time. Yeah. And you have to travel back. That takes time. So there's just a small period of time left to do things. Or is it just... How, how do you maximize your time? So should it Maybe be a weekend? A yeah, how do I maximize it? So should it be a weekend prior what we are living right now? <laughs> so let, let's all stay up until 31st December 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, until then, uh, I would normally go on a Friday evening because I try to use my weekends for that. So because I can take holiday from work every single weekend. So I would normally go on a Friday evening. So that's like, it doesn't count. No, but that's, but it's, that's, it's the travel, yeah. so it's already wasted anyway. Then I would take Saturday to really explore as much as possible. And then Sunday, yeah, fly, fly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, um, come back home <laughs> in whatever way. <laughs> fly or, or, or drive, yeah. So uh, you just have one day. I basically, for weekends, you just have one day, yeah. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you gotta make it work. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make it work, indeed. But uh, for for a, a trip in the Netherlands, it's easy. But if you want to go to Portugal, yeah, it's most of times longer than a weekend, I guess. Well, my so, record uh, has been oh twenty two hours that I've been in the country. <laughs> I, I landed and within twenty two hours, I was already back in the plane. Oh my god! Yeah, that was a bit crazy. I can't imagine. It's what they call doctor's visit. You know, it's like you go to the doctors. Yeah. You're you have just 50. one meeting. Yeah, meeting, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you come back yeah. after a weekend. Mm -hmm. Do you need to, because you uh, also have pictures, we come to the picture part later, okay. but to the photo part later. But do you need to write down as fast as possible some things or just like... No. Try to remember it afterward. Uh, when are you going to start writing about that weekend? <laughs> that depends on my agenda, actually. <laughs> yeah, because you have to work on Monday again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it, normally, I within the next week or so, I start planning and making like a, a bullet points things I want to talk about on such post, mm -hmm. and um, and then I take it from there. Yeah, but I don't have to do it as soon as I set foot at home. You know. I no, mean, no, but my Alzheimer's is not that bad yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, a, a week is still fresh in your memory. It's not. Yeah, like... yeah. And if I, if while I'm on a trip, if I uh, experience something, then like, oh, I really cannot forget this. Then I just make a note on my phone, or I write it on a piece of paper or whatever. So that to means make sure I really don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> because the Alzheimer, yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, um, when you uh, start writing, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I see your uh, Instagram uh, stories sometimes. <laughs> and you're like, oh, my Sunday, fully writing. Yeah. Um, my Sunday is normally my blogging day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, how, do you, um, how do you start writing? Is that taking your bullet points and, yeah. and create a story around it? Or it's yeah. like, I need a structure, so I start literally at the beginning. Yeah. My brain works in structure, so I, I, and that's why I use bullet points, but then grouped, let's say, like, uh, how can I explain? It's, I have to have, it cannot just be a story for me, because no, it's, 
When I'm reading something, I want it to be to the point. You know, give me I, the information. <laughs> exactly. Give me the information. And in a way that I don't spend two hours reading it, because nobody has two hours to read anything nowadays. So they say. And um, so I, I normally uh, try to come up with a title or a working title. And then I make bullet points of uh, things I should really not forget. And that if it's more like, let's say, an itinerary, what do you need to know if you want to write an itinerary or if you want to read an itinerary? You need to know how to get to the place, where should you stay, right? Or at least mm -hmm. some options. Uh, what are the highlights of that city, country, you know, whatever is the, the topic. And oh, oh, you also need places to eat and drink, right? And how do you move around? You know, public transportation, is that an option? And if so, yeah. what, where do I buy my tickets or, you know, these kind of things. And if you go by car, where are the parking uh, places, garages, lots? Mm -hmm. I don't know how you say that. Yeah. But where can you park? And, you know, these kind of things. So the more information you want to put in a post, the more time it takes to prepare because I also have to... Uh, Go and search for that information. Yeah, it's not that you have searched uh, three parking spots on the same place while you've been there because no. you're your only need one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, but that means th that the uh, the Sunday, your writing day, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is uh, is uh, not only writing but yeah. also researching the trip you already had. Yeah, because maybe the the style I do my trips may not be other people's styles, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody travels in different ways. So then you kind of have to be a little bit broad how you give the information. But at the same time, I want to be personal, you know, because otherwise people just go on TripAdvisor or, you know, whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> But that means if you say you don't want to write a story mm, or less yeah. a story, why... Like uh, I, I started with packing my bag and then no it's, no, uh, no it's no. just like no uh, so th that means uh, the structure you try to have in your in your blog <coughs> it can uh, change by every travel yeah totally with, with the meaning of the yeah. blog at the, at that point um, is there a structure in longer periods of time because you say you're already doing this for seven years do you notice that you're Using a, uh, a style per, yeah. per purpose? I had to adjust to the times because seven years ago, the way blogs were uh, consumed was a different way that it is nowadays. Nowadays, and it, it, I don't like to say this, but you have to please Google when you're writing. Don't get me started yet. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. You, you have to write in a certain way that... Google feels like, oh, I should pick this up and show to people because if you are if you are a normal person, so to speak, mm -hmm. maybe you have, I don't know, a circle of friends of and people that know you like what, a hundred people at mm -hmm. the most. Yeah. More or less, right? But it would be nice if more than a hundred people could read what you write. True. Yeah. True, right? So how are they gonna find it? Right? Previously <laughs> As in, no. back, back in the days back in the days people would just spread the word mm -hmm. but I'm not sure that's working anymore because most people don't read blogs anymore no that's true yeah. so then when they want to get information they go on Google <clears throat> right mm -hmm. but if you don't um, follow certain uh, specifics mm -hmm. Google is not going to list you and People will not find you. No, you're someone page 17 and nobody clicks around page two to three. Well, I do, but <laughs> mo most people don't, yeah, yeah. 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 So, I mean, you have to be on top of the list and on Google. To uh, yeah. that, That's most of times it's advertisement. And after that, they're starting the, the, the top hits. And after yeah. that, it goes lower and lower and yeah, pushing you back so so much away that nobody will find you any, uh, any day. Exactly. Yeah. But so you say you have to change your writing for Google. You have to adjust Just. or adapt your writing. Or how can I say? 
not the style that you write, but just uh, complement with things that Google uh, so the searches right, for. So the right keywords, yeah. the right links. I mean, a year ago, I had no idea what a keyword, well, that's not true, <laughs> what a keyword research would yeah. be or what SEO would be. Mm -hmm. Like, what the hell is that, you know? I knew what a CEO was, <laughs> but a SEO, I had no clue, you yeah. know? And I, I didn't think that would be so important. So, I, I mean, I write a blog for seven years, but the blog also kind of evolved, or I thought it did. Mm. <laughs> of course, it's evolving. You are yeah. evolving. So yeah. yeah. So I had to adjust to that as well to make yeah. to maximize the reach, because it's nice that you. I mean, I like to write, but if. I just want to write for myself. I write a diary on paper, you know. Mm -hmm. If you write something online, you want people to be able to read it. Yeah, otherwise, why would you? Yeah. Why would yeah. you yeah. put it? Yeah. If you hear something on the, in the background, that's possible. We're sitting outside. It's not my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Your kid is making a way different sound. <laughs> yes. Uh, well. Just continue. I don't know if what it will I pick say? up on by the mic. <laughs> so, you... Um, you you have to take that into account and yeah. So uh, you that's why it takes the process of writing a post. If you don't have that uh, massive uh, audience already mm -hmm. backing you up from other platforms, then you have to adjust so or you have to adjust your uh, your content so that Google can pick it up and show it to people who may be searching for that. Yeah. Um, does that make any sense? Yeah, it does make sense. I was just thinking about if I want to go... SEO, uh, search uh, <laughs> engine optimization. <laughs> if I want to go left or right in, the, in this conversation, because... You can go uh, both ways, go yeah, zigzag. Yeah, exactly. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, this podcast is always going that way yeah, on, and, and in that way. So, um, Because you said you didn't write uh, before, so you just started with the blog. Yeah. Did you ever think of joining another blog for your writing what do you mean uh telling your stories on different ex already existing blogs with a bigger following no i never thought of that no. plus nobody in my circle of people i knew would write blogs not that i knew of because also back in the time a lot of people would write anonymously they didn't at least people I, I, in my country back then, or I was already here, but anyway, um, people didn't want to know that they were posting stuff online. Yeah. So it was kind of underground scene. No, but be, because the, the question why I asked, I started with, I think I wrote for three different blogs really? before I started my own. Oh. Because I grew bigger than the rest. I was like, Ooh. I don't need them. <laughs> Share the secrets. <laughs> no, no, it's not the secret. It's just like you can learn a lot of things by writing for other people as well because they mm -hmm. can give you advice that you don't have if you do yeah. it all by yourself. But also they give you an advantage to uh, to a bigger audience in the beginning. Yeah, correct. It's not that they will bring you them into your, your place, mm -hmm. but it's more that you get acknowledged, you, you get your first steps. and yeah. Um, no, I didn't have that. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. no, it's, it's it's not a bad thing. I mean, that <laughs> means that you can be creative uh, and starting from off from your own point. Yeah. Well, for me, it was like I know this structure, this structure, and this structure. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's combine it and place it on my new website yeah. and go from there. No, I kind of learned my way, and you know, as as you grow and as you age, things yeah also change. Of course, because your your environment around you changes. changes I mean yeah. the world changing so yeah, yeah. of course you, you you have to adjust so. yeah um and I uh, I think two websites don't exist anymore one maybe I don't even but yours is still there not, standing no no nah, nah, strong um uh, but not the same when no? I started I mean I wrote a lot of uh reviews yeah I remember I like concert reviews right concert reviews festival reviews yeah. album reviews short reviews yeah. bites and I didn't do that for over a year or even longer wow because you why? missed that sometimes yeah but on the other hand why would I write a review about an album 
the, these days. Why not? Why not? Well, more like <laughs> I can invest time to write that, mm -hmm. or I can do seven other things. Yeah, and the there seven are other, other platforms nowadays that they weren't. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah. So, uh, and it's not not about reach. I mean, uh, my website I don't. I really don't care about reach because the difference between your platform uh, <laughs> website and mine is my name is so easy to search. Yeah. Whatever you type, even if you type wrong, you will find my page. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the lucky part that I have this name so long and yeah. it's so branded uh, yeah. on different websites and different structures. So it's it's you will find it. Yeah. Uh, while if you type in traveling Netherlands, yeah, it's not it's, gonna be the first no, hit. It's, no. So you you have to find your way to get there. Yeah. yeah. And if you search my name, you're gonna be on the website. If you search my nickname, you're gonna be at the website. If yeah. you search certain bands and you type in photography, you're gonna you find will, me. Uh, yeah. I mean it's that's it's there you will be. Yeah, yeah. but that's also the 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 uh, lucky part if you do this for almost 15 years already yeah so sure. that's 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 the good part but it's it's like i'm st i'm still thinking not daily but about should i start writing again because i like to write mm -hmm. i do have a little bit more time but not that much extra time yeah and if i hear albums at this moment i'm like i'm not gonna write about it because i'm not gonna be is it be, that bad it's <laughs> that bad no it's not that bad it's it, there are uh, some really great albums of course but it's like i'm not gonna give a, a a review like track by track ah okay so it's more the feeling part and i'm, I'm like it just felt like the one before so it doesn't didn't change in three years so ben's listening to this no, take notes <laughs> no take no no just join the podcast because then we can talk about yeah. the fact you fucked up <laughs> no, uh, no it's more like uh, i already wrote about that mm -hmm. i did write you've feeling, done that before yeah, yeah. so why would i repeat the no. same thing and that's why i also wrote about uh wrote in shark bites at a short certain moment mm -hmm. just to the point to the point, really yeah. short. This is the feeling. That's it. Yeah. And maybe one or two tracks highlighted. Like but, a favorite or yeah. but, the worst. <laughs> but back in the days, it was really track by track. And what was the yeah. meaning about it? Yeah. Nobody is interested in that anymore. But, you know, I... Maybe if you can do one, one line, one People sentence. are just so 30 seconds minded nowadays, yeah. you know. If you ask them to spend, I don't know five minutes reading something oh no in five minutes i can be scrolling on instagram and i've seen i don't know how many things yeah right it's like wh why should i do so yeah maybe that's but the not everybody is like that no of course not <laughs> so it's, it depends if you want to still do that and that's yeah. i mean these podcasts we are in right now <laughs> i mean uh uh they are not five minutes yeah so th this is my longer way to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the writing part, I can write longer stories mm -hmm. about an album and what the vision was and stuff like that. Or I can make a podcast. Yeah. But back then there was no podcast. Of course there was a podcast. It was like called radio station? No, no, no. There were podcasts 15 years ago. <laughs> I Ask Kevin Smith. He oh. knows. Um, no, it, it's 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 like... Um, I said two years ago mm -hmm. I stepped into the podcast making yeah. so uh, for me it's like okay I've been doing this but I this know is your way of giving content yeah not so uh, short no you know in, in time I don't make any the only short things I make in content are pictures yeah because you can scroll around them and that's it yeah but for the rest is most of times I make long content now yeah I think it's nice you know there will always be people who are uh, willing to put their time into getting information valuable information so yeah it, we should all try to be a little bit longer than just an instagram story or an instagram post yeah. you know it, there's more to that or more than that and you are writing and yeah. you make longer blogs yes because google also <laughs> likes longer, <laughs> longer yeah. more content uh, no longer content yeah yeah and if you post it frequently they are even happier but you're saying you're not doing I that i try to do nowadays yeah because i also cannot travel so much anymore yeah. right so i don't have uh, that much content to share so instead of let's say in a month i share four posts and then the next two or three months i got nothing to write so I uh, spread it out a little bit. I spread it out a little bit. So currently, I have a post every two weeks. Okay. So, I I try at least it's I try to to do that. 
because you know it's I have to combine that with all the other things that happen in life. You know, I have to go to work. I have days that are super tiring sometimes. You know, you, you so, got to have some sort of social life. <laughs> what social life? Yeah, what, what social <laughs> nowadays? I don't. Um, so yeah. No, I understand that. And uh, um, seven years ago, you started writing. Did you also? thought about making pictures for the blog at that moment no because at that moment the blog was more like a personal blog so in, just lines of text yeah just just thoughts and you know and those kind of things more uh, personal things and uh, but then at a certain point I got tired of it honestly and I thought you know I'm just gonna give this up because yeah it's not that interesting you know I mean, mm -hmm. Everybody has their lives. <laughs> First of all, I'm kind of a private person as well. You wouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I think what it's private is to remain private, and what it's not, then sure, go, go with it. And yeah, I, I thought like, why, why am I sharing this kind of things? Nobody's gonna read this. This is not interesting for anyone but me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll write those thoughts on my paper, you know. Yeah. And then I was off for like six months or so i guess but i missed it i missed to have this platform where i could write and put my free time also to mm -hmm. it you know but then and then i had to figure out like what do i like to write about what other subjects do i like because if you don't write about something that you really like it's not gonna be interesting for other people to read because you were, you know, just... Stating facts and that's stating it. Stating facts or yeah. uh, press releases or whatever. That's very nice, but yeah, I thank you. I copied one of those sometimes. I'm sorry? I copied one of those sometimes. <laughs> it's like, press release, great. Yeah, here. Post. Yeah, no, thank you. So then I had to, I had to find out what I really like and what I can produce more content about. And that's how I got to traveling. Because not only I enjoy traveling, I figured, oh, if this is my thing, I can also use it as an excuse, you know, <laughs> to like, travel. Yeah. To travel, like, oh, I should write something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then also the photography started. Yeah. And then the photography started with it. Yeah. And um, how did you start with that? I mean, well, I asked you a lot of questions. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, five years ago, it was just uh, you had your phone. <clears throat> they made uh, two megapixel pictures. Ridiculous. It did, R ridiculous. Uh, it happened. It was better than the Nokia thirty two uh, ten with had no uh, 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 with uh, uh. no photos. No, no, no. The Nokia never <laughs> died. That phone was rocket solid. It's yeah, a great phone. But it didn't make anyway. pictures. No, it didn't make pictures. No. So how did the picture start then? Yeah. Wow. I don't know it's yeah it started because yeah the quality of the phone was not good mm -hmm. and you start browsing around like what other people doing also as you know as inspiration and so on and then you see oh people nowadays do care about good photos hmm mm. my pixelized photos the, yeah. they are not gonna cut it right <laughs> so and i always yeah I liked to take photos when I was a kid. I sucked at it, but I liked <laughs> doing it. That, that's the most important thing. Yeah, you liked it. You yeah. liked it. You, you know, with analog cameras. Yeah, so I you still would, remember, yeah. You would, you would go to the shop to get it uh, developed, I think is how you yeah, say it. Yeah, And then out of 24, you had maybe one or two good. <laughs> Sharp, yeah. <laughs> Sharp and not mm -hmm. completely dark, that kind of stuff. So I always had that somewhere, the interest in uh, taking pictures. But then, yeah, then... Once you realize, like, oh, okay, I want to, I want, and I need to add photos to my uh, posts, and the Instagram then started as well. Yeah, then it can be a crappy photo because, thank you very much, but there are a lot more. <laughs> that's a quick scroll. There. Yeah, yeah, that's a very quick <laughs> uh, scroll. But that means you're gonna have to buy a, f a photo camera. Yeah. How did you pick one? Well, I asked uh, several people, <coughs> Shriek, uh, uh, <laughs> several people like for um, tips, what was on the market at the moment and what were their thoughts. And then I, you know, I kind of collect uh, ideas from several people 
And I ended up buying something that they did not recommend at the time. <laughs> a really cool Sony. <laughs> yeah, really cool Sony. No, I, I, I went for the mirrorless because at the time it was also starting up. Yeah. And it's compact. And I, like I said, I like to travel light. Mm -hmm. I don't want to carry a camera bag that it's heavier than my uh, trolley, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, want, I wanted to have something that it could give me good photos. Okay, it's not just the camera. It, it's also how you use it. But, but that it would be uh, compact, not just a point and shoot. Because I soon realized, oh, maybe you need different lenses for a different mm -hmm. type of photography and so on and so on. So that's how I got into the mirrorless. <clears throat> Sony, if you're listening to this. <laughs> no spawn. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm not sponsored by anybody but my own work. <laughs> no, I'm still not sponsored. So no, it no. Uh, and I used Nikon. So it's like... Uh, oh, you're a Nikon team. Yeah, but I used a Sony for a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Until they fucked up big time. And I, I was like, okay, there's no just step up. So if you don't have a step up... I have to go some to someone else you mean dslr yeah. Uh, oh yeah. yeah i think they're out of that uh yeah as far as most, i know most mirrors they yeah, still have to 899 that is still there like like that thing is seven years old come on people <laughs> um no but that's that uh well, um, for me as a photographer it's like i need a dslr five years ago yeah five years yeah. ago <laughs> and you can't go mirrorless it sucks it doesn't do what what you need but on the other hand for your purpose it's great yeah. but for the purpose i should use it it's just not there yet still not there yet there are still <coughs> no it's still not there yet no we're we're going there, to agree to disagree <laughs> no uh, nikon released the set five this week and oh, they have dear the, God. the se six and seven already and i like the six i think or mm -hmm. the seven, the one with the most megapixels. Are we going to start geek out about cameras if and camera gear? No, 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 no. <laughs> no but uh, but they come closer, and that's the that's the whole point, of course. I think you're but also used to a certain type of camera, right? And then or yes. or gear, so it's difficult. Might be difficult for you to step out of that. Yeah, and also I don't want to break things, and the the smaller break things? the smaller things is like. If I handle that, I think the lens will fall off and immediately because it's so s heavy. If you see the body <laughs> next yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, for example, if you go to a full frame mirrorless camera nowadays, they're pretty bulky. Yeah, but not, not like a DSLR. Yeah, but the, they that, also that weigh heavy. like uh, I have one, one quarter of, one of that. One DSLR I have standing in the rain during a concert. Mm-hmm. It took a while before it break, it breaks down. Yeah. And I don't think it's the, the, the mirrorless that can handle that much rain. Well, we, uh, we, we should go explore that. Maybe one time <laughs> if I really have money. No, but for, <laughs> yeah, me it, too. Was, it was more the segue into uh, you bought a, a, a mirrorless camera five years ago. Yeah. A really cool yeah, song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you still need it? Well, I don't use that camera anymore. But if you mean if I need a, a camera or if I can use another device? Yeah. I think you still need a camera if you like to do more than just, uh, oh, this is nice, pump, check, that's it, you know? If you want to put time into learning a few things here and there, even though phones have uh, uh, evolved quite a lot when it comes to cameras. Yeah but I don't think it's still at the same level as a camera. So it's more like you use your phone for the Instagram stories? Yeah. And you use the camera for the blog posts? Or I use my phone when I forget the SD card. That also happens. Yeah, <laughs> of course. I had a recording last week and I used this device, the Zoom H6, which I use to record podcasts, but also for the, uh, for the shark uh, sessions I record yeah. because there's just four lines in and that's it. Uh, and the SD card didn't work. And I was oh. like, I didn't touch it. How can it break down? <laughs> I just still there. And I thought, maybe there is no SD card in it. And that's the problem. Now yeah. it's there. Okay, maybe it's the micro SD card. No, it's not the nope. problem. Luckily, I have everything with me. So yeah. I had another different card and plugged that in. And it was directly working. So I was like, okay, I, at least I can go forward. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I'm in Tilburg at that moment and I can't do shit. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I had similar feeling a few <laughs> weeks or a month ago or so. That was ridiculous. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, we forget about things while we are yeah. quarantined. Yeah, yeah, we were, yeah, sort of a lockdown yeah. here. But at that time, things were starting to open up and we were like, oh, want to go out, you know, just for a walk. And I thought, oh, cool. I'm going to take some pictures because, you know, I haven't taken any pictures since end of February. Yeah. And this was May or something like that or June. But I don't know. doesn't matter. I was like, okay, I'm going to prepare. So I've been preparing for the whole thing for a week. You know, are the lenses clean? Is, are the batteries charged? I'm going to put everything nice in the bag. And I just forgot to take the God <laughs> damn SD card. So <laughs> I got into Thought this of everything city. about one small, literally small detail. Yeah. I got into the city, you know, <laughs> switch the camera on. And then first message is no SD card or no card. And I was like, what do you mean no card? <laughs> <laughs> and there was no card. So yeah. That happened. And then you got to use your phone. Then you're going to use your phone, yeah. And for that, it's nice to have a phone that can take also good pictures. Yeah, I still hope when the new... I, I was looking where my phone was. Uh, uh, when the new iPhone comes out, it, it has better We're pictures. certainly not going to talk about iPhones. No, it's just... it's still The camera is still pretty sucky, I think. <laughs> iPhones. <coughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but there are certain yeah. things we're never going to agree. No, it doesn't need to... No, it's, uh, I will... <laughs> Buy an iPhone every year. I don't mind. No. Um, every two years. Yeah. Um, but then you have a camera, <laughs> and you can also record movies, clips. Yeah. You try that. I exactly. I tried. But it was actually with my phone. Oh, damn it. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually with my phone. Yeah, I tried. I, I mean, I searched on on your blog, and you saw you still have the YouTube channel up. Yeah, I have like. Three videos on it. <laughs> yeah, the San Francisco things. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. I did San Francisco vlogs. Yeah. And uh, Vienna? Yeah, just uh, there were just the San Francisco and one other. Vienna it was. Yeah. And I actually did for Madrid, but then I didn't post it. But silly. You, you, but it's uh, <laughs> over a year ago. You just no. don't like it or it's just not your way to I don't think it's my my jam. <laughs> That's okay. I mean I I don't think so. Mm, it could be a nice um, add-on to the posts and so on, but then I have to show up more on camera, you know, because I think that's how it you post on, on, you, on YouTube. I, I have no idea. It depends on which way you want to go. I mean, people are still <laughs> looking if I can point any direction, but if you're looking at your screen right now in, in <laughs> YouTube or Facebook, you're just seeing one picture the whole <laughs> podcast long. Better be a good picture. Uh, you sent it to me, so don't blame me. Oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> it was taken with the phone, by the way. <laughs> and with shades on. Yeah. Now, uh, um, uh, video is a whole different thing. I mean, I, yeah. it, it's... Um, and especially if you don't, as, as you say, you don't appearing in it, you don't talk in it, yeah. and just being frames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're playing like Google Maps almost, yeah, yeah. you know? <laughs> so, until I am... No longer super camera shy. I don't think I'm gonna do it. So we should have put up the camera here. No, so no, it's no, a no, bit, no. Uh, a It was in smart. our contract. No cameras. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> I forgot that. No, that was the extra joking. addition you wanted. Yeah, next, yeah, next yeah. Next 20k. Yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. Um, no. So so you tried that and yeah, you I, just I did. left it. Yeah, because I I never made videos before, so I realized oh oh this takes a lot of time at time. Where is the time? <laughs> of course, I mean, I know, yeah. Right? You, if, if you, I, the problem is if I put up something, whether it's a photo, an article, or a video, I, I like to make it as good as I possibly can. And that may be a little bit too much sometimes, you know, and I just don't have the time. I have to be realistic. I really don't have the time. So you got to prioritize. Yeah, and then uh, the, uh, the, the picture are, complementary on the mm -hmm. on the on the, the text you write yeah and the video is no additional extra information no like i think yeah. it's a different audience as well so yeah you gotta find yeah. your tribe yeah <laughs> of course yeah <laughs> and if you don't if and uh, uh, i mean i am looking to a lot of videos on youtube these mm -hmm. days i mean who doesn't yeah we have more time but uh uh there are so many ways to do something and um, uh, there are, yeah, 
some people you really like the style and the other ones are just yeah. not I mean uh, the other podcast I have uh, DNS with uh, uh, with Davey mm-hmm. um, he's a uh, um, Disney vlogger Disney vlogger? yeah he goes to Disney uh, parks and vlogs about it it's really oh. cool okay um, uh, check out the, po- the other podcast or his uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, vlogs of course and he has 20 minutes, 25 minutes of one park day. It's like a mini series or something. Yeah, it's really cool because then he, he just came back last week from the re-entry, uh, reopening of the, 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 the Paris Park. Uh-huh. And, and um, he, put up, uh, he put up 25 minutes of the opening day and 25 wow. minutes of the second day. And other vloggers are putting up one and a half hours. And I'm like... I'm never ever gonna watch one and a half hours of not content. in one go. <laughs> no, it's uh, that, even twenty five. I sometimes just pause and do something else. But it's like <laughs> one hour. How can't you cut back on one and a half hours? Yeah, exactly. I mean, this podcast is gonna be on one and a half hours, but it's like, oops. <laughs> how can you don't crank? Well, how? How <laughs> is that mean, possible? Yeah. How can you video that that much for one day? It's, and yeah, sometimes it's yeah. just like. Some people can, and they want to watch it. They still have a lot of viewers, of course. That because there's um, a crowd for everything, I yeah. guess. In the end, yeah. That's, or I that's hope, true. I hope that yeah, there's no, yeah. people for all kind of platforms and the contents out there. I, I, I but, hope. I like to believe that at least. <laughs> but with with <coughs> a, a reading part of a podcast, I think with with most things. You can pause on any moment you want. I mean, you, nobody tells you you have to read yeah, the article exactly. in one part or on one one go. Yeah. So yeah, that same counts for the podcast. If you want to do something else right now, just pause it. Just and pause just... it. Go do your thing and then come back. Exactly. We will yeah. still be here. Yeah. <laughs> go on. <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> oh, this yeah. takes long. Yeah. I, aren't you back yet? Yeah. No. <laughs> come on, hurry up. <laughs> no, but that's that's how it goes. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, as you said before, it, it just the content has to be shorter while it has to be longer for the Google yeah, uh, it's, searches. It, you have to find a balance, yeah. I think. And um, another thing uh, you, you were talking about is to, promotion, to, yeah, to promote your content. I'm only now learning how to do that, to be fairly honest. <laughs> You what, see, what, I'm always what? late for the party. No, it's no, no, <laughs> because other ones, other ones can go on uh, flat on their face because they're running ahead and you are just like, did uh, you feel good? I, I don't do that then. <laughs> what did you learn to how to uh, to promote it? Yeah. Let me be honest. I sucked at it for a very long time. <laughs> you know, because I thought, yeah, people are just going to find me, right? Wrong. Seven years ago, probably not anymore. And then I found out, oh, maybe you have to go into, uh, for example, face- Facebook groups of certain topics and, you know, go interact with people and, um, you know, you share your content and other people share theirs and you read each other's and, you know. You, you, Comment you, on each other. Yeah, you, you kind of do a network mm-hmm. or, or you try to make a network. And uh, another platform that I use a lot to promote my content is Twitter. I know Is that still big? I think so. I heard something about a uh, problem last week about her. Oh, I'm not that famous, <laughs> so it didn't affect me. <laughs> so you didn't give away bitcoins? No, 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 oh, no, okay. no, no. Well, what are bitcoins? <laughs> Is that real money? Yeah, that's real money. Oh, you see. It's I'm always late for that party as well. So um, You can still buy. It's no problem. No, no. no. <laughs> I'm allergic to money, actually. Oh, now okay. I hear too much info for you guys, but yeah. Uh, but uh, you, you say you promote on, on Twitter and on um uh, ah. f- uh, groups? Yeah, on Facebook groups and on, on Twitter and also on Instagram, yeah. It's, but it's a bit more difficult for me on Instagram because I don't have the swipe up function kind of thing. They just have to release that for everyone instead of the only that 10, would be great 10, 10, because 10K plus. Yeah, that, that's ridiculous. I mean, why, why is that a person? I have a workaround, I can tell you. That's oh, no he's going to share his secrets. No, that, it's not that difficult. <clears throat> you just have to use Instagram. Uh, uh, um, IG? Uh, the uh, IGTV? Uh, yeah. Oh. If you use a small clip, hmm. put on a link, no other things, just the link, you can swipe up to the video and then you can click it. So that's two steps. Yeah, it's two steps more than anyone else has to do if you have 10K followers. Uh-huh. But or you buy 9,000 followers and then you're there. Uh, that's, yeah, that, <laughs> that you can do as well and right? it has no use. No, that, that's no use. So I, I rather go, you know, steady 
in step by step. I deleted uh, followers. Yeah, me too. I mean, Sorry, guys. No, no, <laughs> not that I don't follow. No, uh, I don't follow back many people, but uh, people that are following me, I deleted. Uh -huh. Just to have lower numbers, so yeah. I have a bigger reach. Oh. Because when the higher you get, yeah, and uh, the more numbers you make, the less people are going to see your post. Oh. It sucks. Now, I, I delete or block like fake profiles. Oh, yeah. And if I can't see who you are, then I'm sorry, but you're also not going to see who I am. Yeah. It's... Even I... though I try to reach more people, I want to make sure that I'm actually reaching people. Yeah. And not just, uh, you know, those that it's, are it's, just... It's harder looking. work, but on yeah. the other hand, it ge it gives you more real uh, yeah. comments and real likes. And I I, I would like to uh, get to people, or I should say I would like people to know what I do, but real people and people who are willing to engage with my content and with me. Because if that's not the case, then we are not fit for each other. No, I, I don't understand that. <laughs> Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> no, I don't I understand. <laughs> I mean, I had, uh, I still have to struggle. I mean, if you see the 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 comments on pictures, it's just like zero. Yeah. But you still have some likes, and it's like <clears throat> okay. And if you post from certain bands, there are a lot of comments mm -hmm. on certain pictures. <laughs> yeah. And for the rest, it's just like all sign, and it's like, didn't you see the best pictures? It's like, <laughs> yeah. come on, just click one more and comment there. But no. No. Just... It's also hard for me because even, you know, some people almost demand that I should show up more on my photos. Like, oh, people might want to see who you are or, you yeah, know. I still have the same struggle. I never, ever, ever take a selfie. And oh, people man. Are still That's like, so hard. <laughs> as people are like, you're never in the picture. I'm like, I have posted over, I think, 300 hours of podcast. Yeah. With video, yeah. you can see me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see me. I'm right there, but I don't do a yeah. selfie. No, sorry. So I, I try here and there to, you know, let people know who's behind the camera, but that only makes sense if I'm actually talking to people and to people that want to interact. If you're just, I don't know if you say that in English, like a looker. No, how do you say it? those people? They are just there, just to look. Yeah. Just like being nosy almost, you mm -hmm. know? Then, no. And you want to try out all the filters. Yes, <laughs> because why not? <laughs> right? They're there, so. Sorry, I'm not going to put the bunny ears and the, and the, the <laughs> not, dog nose. Not the uh, nose and, things, no. no. I'm sorry, no. That's not for me. That's for other people. But all the other filters. Yeah. yeah. I will try. <laughs> well, but it's good to have a face, of course, by your uh, um, uh, blog and... Yeah. The things you put out, of course. I mean, you have uh, a, a, a really good uh, profile picture on the blog as well. That just people can see who you are and yeah. see who write who writes everything. Yeah, uh, my I I have a, a a coach actually, a blog coach and social media coach, and she she strongly advised me to get a a good profile picture. I had a a, a picture there, mm -hmm. but you could not see my face. Because I hardly take pictures of myself or ask anybody to do so. <laughs> so she was like, no, try. You know, people may want to know who is writing this blog or who is taking this Instagram photos of the places you visit. So show yourself a little bit. And I was like, okay, but I am terrible at selfies, right? And I have to ask somebody to take a photo yeah. of me. And I have to, or I wanted to ask somebody that I already liked the the style. The, the style. Yeah. And that's how I got to uh, Emily. Emily Garçon. Yeah. Huh? Really huh? great girl. Yeah. She, she's fantastic. She's fantastic. It's Not only she's an amazing person, but her photography, it's, I, I really like yeah. her style. Yeah. I can understand. Yeah. And, um, uh, okay, I think we come to a closure of that blog part. Okay. Well, if you um, still want to <laughs> talk about that. But yeah, yeah. No, yeah. We, we still can. I still think the uh, the three for three uh, uh uh, uh, the one? Yeah, the you have uh, one part on the block. It says three, four, three or three. Um, I'm gonna check it three, out. What you're saying? Three tips and three cities and three ah, places. The, you have the, to go. The, the three series. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think it's a great concept. I mean, it's just compact directly. Yeah, and, exactly, and, yeah. exactly. Because sometimes you just don't have any personal experience to share, but maybe you have a wish list 
right? Like, oh, uh, maybe I would like to go visit this and this and that. So then you make a top three. I love tops, like top three, top five, <laughs> top ten, you know, those kind of things. I sometimes try it to put on uh, Google and find something as like, that doesn't even work because they're not the top 50 I want to see. <laughs> I mean, no, that, I was not looking for that, people. I was looking for the other 50. But yeah, that's... Uh, that can happen. Yeah, of course, but that's uh, how different yeah. pages, of course, work. Yeah. Um, no, more, uh, I want to more change over to, to the, um, um, uh, not the marketing part of it. Oh, but I'm not that good at it. <laughs> no, no, but more like uh, you say, you you have to show your face a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have a little bit more structure in the in the in the, in the content for, yes. for for that. But what's next then? Next what, is what, what you do you want to do with the page? Oh, hmm. Good question. Next Good question. Good question. Now, uh, <laughs> give me 10 hours to think about that. I'll come back to you tomorrow. <laughs> we cut it in tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. No. Hello tomorrow. <laughs> no, I, I would like to be sort of a reference when people search for travel content, but not just as like... Uh, Paid advertisements. Yeah. No, I want it to be also a personal take on traveling and travel experiences or tips or whatever, you know, I, I wanted that people, when they read it, they know that it was me who wrote that. Mm -hmm. It may sound a bit selfish, but I hope that's yeah, no, not no, coming out. It's, it's from a person. Not that from it's from a, a person, yeah. from a person to another person, you know, from, from a little bit of personal perspective to things as well. And I've been told I have a very funny way of writing. <laughs> And people who know me and read my blogs, sometimes they, they come back and say, hey, it was almost like I was talking to you. I was like, that Great. was it. Got it. I nailed that one. <laughs> you, didn't have, you, you didn't have time to talk to all the writers, yeah. uh, readers, but no. just, just a good, good solution for that. Yeah. Uh, no, because we had, we had a little bit more topics uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the chat. Okay. So, want to talk about Ronaldo? No. <laughs> no. There's not much to say about Ronaldo that hasn't been said. Oh, no, he, he bought a yacht this week. Yeah, oh. Did you know that? No, I don't know. It was I, all I, over I, Portuguese news. No. No, he bought that, a yacht. Uh, yacht? I, I, I don't I, know how you say it. I don't Big follow boat. him. Big boat. Uh, no, more, more. I also don't follow him. No? No. 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 It's ridiculous, no. huh? Yeah. I it's do strange. follow the national team profile. <laughs> the yeah. official one. I'm sorry. <laughs> the fan page. <laughs> <laughs> you are the host of the fan page now. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Only during the, the championships. Yes. Um, Thank no, you, Corona. We're going to be champions for one more year, <laughs> at least. <laughs> uh, oh, snap. Uh, now, more about, uh, uh, <clears throat> I want to segue into Portugal because mm -hmm. we, we talked about, never talked about Portugal. No. Uh, why is that now? <laughs> I don't know. Why? Why? why have we not talked about Portugal? What would uh, you like to know about Portugal? Uh, the most because um, uh, you always said uh, you moved to the Netherlands mm -hmm. and lived for a really long time in Portugal. What's What are the, the differences between the two countries in a cultural way? Because when you change over it at, at the age you, you did, you know a lot about the Portugal way and then you certainly drop into the Netherlands. Yeah. And then you have to adjust a little bit thing or... Uh, I, I had a little Fallen. crash course before. Yeah. I lived six months in Brussels. Okay. So that was my first experience as a uh, non-citizen non uh, yeah. uh, yeah. born there. Yeah. I, I went to uh, Brussels to do Erasmus. Uh, <clears throat> scholarship. Uh, yeah, scholarship yeah. for six months. And that was already quite a, a shock at the time, I remember. I was really curious to go and I, I always wanted to to do such a thing but I was not that prepared for it so when I had to be in a big city as Brussels is and so diverse I was like oh okay so this is how it is <laughs> hmm all right it was yeah but you uh did you learn uh English while in Brussels or before in Portugal no I, I learned English in uh, in Portugal in okay. school and just I think a semester before I came to uh, Brussels, I, I had a extra English course. Okay, so no French. I had French uh, in, a, in a middle school. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, but French is very similar to Portuguese in a okay. grammar kind of, kind of, yeah. Way. Way. <laughs> and when I was in Brussels, one of my uh, classes was French. Okay. So, yeah. Really and remember. the classes I had to attend were in French. Uh, I hate it. Because I thought French is a bit easier to learn than Flemish at that point. Flemish like yeah. Dutch. Yeah. Dutch, I don't know. So I thought, no, no, I, I go for the French uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> school. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I hate this French school. Um, no, but uh, but what are the differences? Because then, uh, oh, when yeah. you between Portugal and Netherlands, yeah, because I can imagine there are. Oh man, there, it's everything is different. Really, there's pretty much nothing in common for the good and for the bad. <laughs> but how do you uh, adjust for that? Then how do you? It's it's pretty much a never-ending uh, story or experience. Yeah, it's 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 really hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's really hard. In the beginning, I was in love with the idea of being, you know, away from what I knew. Mm -hmm. You know, something new. Something it was different, it yeah. was like this whole crazy <laughs> adventure. Like I had to work, but it felt like almost like a holiday, right? Because I mean, even the supermarket was new, <laughs> or or the grocery store. So everything was, yeah, different. Mm -hmm. And when everything is different for the first time, it's very exciting. But once you do that for a longer time, it's not so different anymore. And then you get used to that. And that's when you start noticing the differences. And then a visit to the grocery store, for example, is not that exciting anymore because you are missing things that are plenty in the grocery stores you've been your whole life. You know? Okay. That's okay. just an example. Uh, um, but you did that. You you did change to yeah. be living here in, yeah. in the Netherlands. It was my uh, conscious decision, actually. You had to. Yeah. I, yeah. It was when I graduated from university, the, um, the economic crisis was just booming in Portugal. So I literally had no jobs, opportunities for me. There, there was nothing. <clears throat> Within the field that I had studied. What did you study? I studied physics engineering. Okay. Yeah. So, and I spent <laughs> five years at university and I wanted to put that to use. I didn't want to go and do something else that had nothing to do with it because I had spent time, energy, money. So I wanted to, you know, Progress, get, something, yeah. get something out of it or from it. And at that time, there was... There was no work. And even at the university itself, universities, most universities in Portugal are, uh, are public, so they have some funds from, from the government. Mm -hmm. And at that time, there were no uh, funds, you know. There were people being fired, so the, the prospects were very uh, bad. So I thought, well, Portugal is very nice, but... <laughs> There's a lot more out Pretty there. better, but... Uh... You know, there's more out there, so I just have to go and look for it. And, yeah, within a year after I graduated, then a little bit more, then I found a, a job here in the Netherlands. So... In the Netherlands? I work oh. for a Dutch company. Really? Yeah. My contract is in the Netherlands, yeah. Ah, okay. I th I, but, but my working place is yeah. in Germany. Okay. Yeah. Now I get that. Yeah. Um, so then, then you uh, come over to the Netherlands. Yeah, and then because they were just... looking for engineers at that time. They, apparently, there is not so many people with a technical background here in the Netherlands, or no, at least not at that time. It's growing, yeah, indeed. Yeah. We are a little bit behind in that, I think. A lot of technical things are just growing markets, and yeah. Netherlands got in a lot of people from other countries other before, countries, and yeah. then they started to grow uh, mm -hmm. and learn uh, and teach. Teach yeah. the young kids this. This is the way you have to go. Yeah. And then you have a lot of kids that has those... Kids, study math. <laughs> <laughs> and at a certain point, you don't need those many people anymore, and then you have a yeah. problem as well. Um, um, but then you come to, to the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Can you just uh, work everywhere? Me if, as a European, European citizen? citizen? I can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need a visa or anything like that. No. So just need to get registered so that they know that you are living here and pay your taxes. Pay taxes, of course. <laughs> yay, yay, <laughs> yay. So, but that's it, yeah. 
But that, that's that's great. I mean, that doesn't mean you have a big hassle to just go somewhere else to no. do it. No, and it's the same thing that people who go work in Portugal, you know, it's it's part of the deal of being in, in the European Union and in this whole Schengen area, so... But what is the uh, language you have to speak at your job? I then? speak English. Okay. At my job, at my work. So yeah. that's easy to just do all day. It became easier yeah. with the time, of yeah. course, um, and yeah, my Portuguese is getting very rusty. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's that's the bad the the the, the other side of the yeah, story. Yeah, that's the other side. Uh, but when you um, uh, come to the Netherlands, mm -hmm. every, everyone here speaks English yeah it's amazing actually because I was not expecting that and I was very surprised that it was so easy to be accepted but does that mean you don't need to learn Dutch I think you always should learn Dutch or you should learn the language of the country where you're moving in I guess that's how you say two, yeah. two, in two. <laughs> <laughs> where you're staying in and moving to. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like yeah, yeah well, you know, where are you going to live? I think you should always learn the language, yeah. But do you have, uh, did you had, um, uh, had to go back to classes for that? Yeah, I had Dutch classes for, I don't know, a few, few months, a year. Is that, uh, 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 I think. Um, do you have to do that from the government part? No, or no, no. Like, I, I did it because I wanted it, to do okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because most immigrants has, have to do the, the course thing. But yeah, but yeah. that's if, that's you, if want you want to, to be a citizen okay. of the country. And with all the respect, um, that's not for me right now. Okay. No, is it the only advantage yeah. is that I could vote. But you didn't need to vote. For, for, for the government, let's yeah. say. One vote doesn't going to change it. One vote is always better than no vote. <laughs> but you can vote in Portugal. Eh? Yes, and I do. Yeah. yeah. So that's why you fly back for the 22 hours to just get <laughs> <laughs> to do the voting and then go back. No, I, I drive uh, over oh, the, 500 to kilometers to, to go to The Hague to oh. vote. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a di different thing. But that means you have a vote in the system you're not going to live in? Not now. No, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, not now. That, that's okay. And... When you look around in, in the Netherlands uh, and compare uh, compare it to Portugal, mm -hmm. how are the and then we come back of course to oh, your, yeah, to, the, the, your uh, to your travel part? Yes. What is the difference be between in traveling? How is the seeing places or experience places? From my experience uh, in Portugal, the first option that comes to mind is by car. You go everywhere by car. Even if it's at the grocery store at the end of the street, you go by car. <laughs> okay. And here in the Netherlands, I was really amazed that you could go anywhere by train, for example. And the trains were good. Yeah, they don't always ride on time, but yeah, they are I good. mean, you're yeah. not in Japan, yeah. but... <laughs> <laughs> they are structural. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but um, in that sense, that's one of the biggest differences, I would say, yeah. That you can reach any part or most parts of the of the Netherlands by train, mm -hmm. and in Portugal, some parts of the country are not reachable by train, so you always have to drive. I would say that's one of the biggest okay. uh, differences. Yeah, but it's uh, uh, when uh, when you came over to the Netherlands, did mm -hmm. you already have your driver driver's license? Yeah, and you can just use it here. Mm -hmm. So that's easy. Just get a car and drive. Yeah, exactly. But then you it see it sounds everyone. easier than it is. No, but, but yes. yeah, yeah. But then you see everyone because you don't the understand the traffic signs. Yeah. Why? They're just signs. They're not. Yeah. Well, sometimes they have something written on them, and those yellow ones, you know, this like when there's something on the road or oh, whatever. Of course, yeah, yeah. Goodness. So you don't understand when they work on roads and stuff yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I understand. Yeah, but most of us don't read them and just drive by and just drive faster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's, I think. One of the biggest differences is but, to but culture, go by car or not. Culture wise, mm -hmm. uh, I can I never went to Portugal. I still have to go. I know, I know, I know. Uh, um, uh, I'm not gonna uh, forgive that, <laughs> and I'm not gonna forget that. <laughs> My Alzheimer's is selective. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make a mental note for that. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, hey, I'm not joking about people who have Alzheimer's, by the way. No, 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 <laughs> no. But of course not. Um, how is the the uh, the culture wise? I mean, 
Well, Portuguese people are a lot louder than Dutch people on sober states. Okay. <laughs> you know, like normal. We talk a lot with our hands, almost like Italians, but not so bad. I love Italians, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, um, for example, <laughs> I've, I've heard Dutch people saying to me, like, you sound so different when you're speaking in Portuguese than when you're speaking in English. And I was like, yep, because it's it's just different. It's more emotion or it's more like it's energetic? M- it's more energetic and it's there's um, more tones in it. It's, yeah, it's just different. Yeah. Okay. Did uh, I explain it? Yeah, you tr- a little bit. A little yeah. bit. Yeah, oh. that's okay. Um, no, le- let's let's wrap up with with the uh, with the f- with the final question. Unless <gasps> you want to, if you want to ask me something, but I'm kind of out of my questions. Why haven't you been to Portugal yet? Um, I don't travel that much to uh, unknown places. You've traveled a lot in the past. I remember. No, I don't travel that much. In I, the past, you did. I, I, Anybody I, no travels? No. I travel, travel with reasons, hmm. most of times. Yeah. So, the want me to give you reasons to go to Portugal? Exactly. That was what would be my closing ah. uh, question. Like, what would uh, what would your advice be besides go to your blog and look for it mm-hmm. because you uh, you <coughs> posted that, of course. Yeah. But uh, where should I go? I mean, you know, I want to go for a concert. Yeah. But if you leave that out for some reasons these days, uh, um, what you... can I ex- ex- experience in Portugal? What be a really nice trip? I honestly think any uh, person can have a specific uh, type of holiday in Portugal. You can do pretty much anything. If you want to go on a city uh, trip, you can go to Portugal. You have beautiful cities, just like city hopping, for example. You can do that. You have Lisbon, you have Porto, you have Coimbra, Braga, Viseu, God knows, Évora in the south. So there's plenty of um, cities, beautiful cities to visit. If you like beach, yeah, I mean, I don't even have to Uh, mention it, but the most well-known part of Portugal for that, it's the Algarve. That's totally down south. We're beautiful beaches and the water is warmer there than in the rest of the country. But Portugal has a huge coastline. Of course. So all the way from the north to towards the south. So it's... There's a lot of beaches. If you like surf no, or surfing, no, not you, but, not some but maybe people. other people yeah. do. <laughs> you can also go to Portugal for surfing because they're there in a, I think it's called Nazaré. Yeah, in Nazaré they have some of the biggest uh, waves okay. in the world. You got to be a pro to do that, though. I heard because <laughs> it's like huge, <laughs> really huge. <laughs> uh, but if, for example, if you like hiking or just nature then you have to go to the north uh, and countryside because we also have mountains in Portugal. It's not just beach. Okay. It even snows in Portugal. Oh, really? Yeah. When? <laughs> well, in the winter. <laughs> yeah, but it's, if I look up here, it's almost winter. It's me. Yeah, here in the Netherlands, uh, it's always winter. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but in Portugal, winter starts, let's say, not, not the calendar winter, yep. but from November to February okay. or so. Uh, then you can go and then uh, you have the more uh, or closer to Spain, so okay. to say, north, northeast mm-hmm. there. And um, so you c- beautiful uh, mountains to to go on hikes and uh, do all kind of uh, sports, for example, if you want. You can even go skiing if, if that's your thing. Uh, if you like, let's see. How about oh. food? I was about to say that. Okay. <laughs> the food is is just like the country. It depends on which region you are. You have different plates or, or different foods. So if you want to go on a food trip, so to say, oh, hello. <laughs> if you want to go on a food trip, you can totally go. Like, yeah, if you like fish, normally you stay close to the coast, mm-hmm. right? And if you go more into the countryside, then you have, different more like stews and those kind of things i don't know the proper names in english i'm sorry and i'm, I'm not that big of a chef yeah so but yeah the the food is very good and very diverse the wine is very good 
the beer is good and cheap. <laughs> and it's like, mm. you see, I'm good doing marketing for others. <laughs> huh? mm -hmm. hmm? You know, yeah. you know. Maybe you should ask the state of Portugal. They, they, and they, they should hire me yeah, to do yeah, this. Huh? Yeah, to, yeah. To, do, to be the representative in the Netherlands for Portugal. Yeah, actually, when I first moved to the Netherlands, Lisbon was not such a high place back then for people to go traveling. So I started talking more about Lisbon and so on and so on. And then a year or two later, it was like, oh, man, I've been to Lisbon. You were so right. It's such Lisbon is just an example, huh? Because that's where yeah. I come from. Yeah. But, but you can uh, also for families, you know, you can go camping. There's so many things you can do in Portugal. Anything, pretty much, you can do it. I, th I think that's a great note to, to end this podcast with. The only thing is you need a car. <laughs> no, you can rent a car. Look, yeah, yeah. I've I mean, I've yeah. done like uh, road trips in Portugal without a car. I've just I went like on buses, for example. You okay. can also do that ah, okay. with buses, but no trains. Like, like express uh, yeah. buses, trains also, but n it's more like connection between bigger cities, okay. so, so to say. Yeah. If you want to stay away from the bigger cities, then a car is a car or a bus. It's it's the the way to go. I would say. Okay. Or a motorcycle. Yeah. Okay. I don't have that license. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> uh, where can people find you? Uh, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Uh, oh yeah, they, the... they can all find me under the name of Porty's Diary, and that's with a Y, P O R T Y S, and then Diary all together. And on Instagram, on Facebook, on the blog, Porty'sDiary.com. Okay. And yeah. That's, Great. That's I'll, link the, I'll link them all below. He, he's going to link everything. <laughs> yeah. So if you're looking on Facebook or uh, uh, YouTube, it's below. If you go to the uh, podcast, it's in your show notes. So oh. uh, everyone can find anything they want. And otherwise, you just DM one of us. Yeah. And he didn't find you yet. So DM me and I will just link and it will be all fine, I think. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Really, really thank nice you for to, having me. To, no, it was I'm, a nice conversation. You having me, I'm at your place. <laughs> so I can't link that below. But uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's top secret. Yeah, That's top just secret. Somewhere in the south of the uh, Netherlands. Um, in one of the most beautiful cities of the Netherlands, yeah, I must say. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Oh, that was my dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was your child. <laughs> yeah, that was my child. Yeah. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you for having and, me. It was uh, a pleasure. Yeah. Let's uh, let's see where when there will be another shark talk whenever ever. I, when you I guys listen to uh, shark talks, listen to it. Oh, oh, you mean with me? No, but oh. yeah, you <laughs> maybe, uh, on the first row, maybe one day <laughs> if we have a lot of time. But <laughs> oh, uh, goodness. no, uh, yeah. No? Thank you, thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.